student response systems, clickers, assessment devices, these are units that are being embraced more and more by schools and districts and it's because they provide a very engaging way to actually assess students not just at the end of a lesson or the end of a unit but during a lesson to really inform the direction of the lesson and allow you to change the pace of it, change the direction um, on a dime. So you'll see that I've just put a question up there and it's a simple ABC answer. So I'm going to go to my multimedia bank to select a video on Wales that I know I have on my network. So clicking on the relevant folder, it then populates, as you'll see, I've got a baseball video there. I have a thumbnail view, which is great because then I know what I'm dragging and dropping into my presentation. So I'm going to bring my video of the whale in. Now, obviously, that's not a size that the students can see reasonably. So I'm going to enlarge it. And Easy Teach supports a whole host of video formats. This happens to be an AVI that is usually presented in Windows Media Player on my machine. But you'll see that Easy Teach has its own um, player format. So I can play the video. I can pause it at a point where I think that a particular area of the whale is showing, whether it's a breed of humpback, blue or white whale. I can even annotate as well um, on top of that video or by the side of it to really highlight students' attention to various aspects. But it's through the integration of SRSs or clickers that, again, Easy Teach is getting a name for being that standard whole class teaching software for integrating all of the components of your technology strategy, be it interactive whiteboard, slate, projector, document camera, digital camera, and now Clicker. So currently we integrate with many of the leading Clicker companies on the market, but that list is ever expanding. And the value of having them integrated within EasyTeach means that the focus is not just on using assessment. If I use my keyboard to program in the information here, because we've got A to C responses, I'm gonna select students first only answer. Selecting handsets would then mean it identifies or picks up on all of the clickers in the room if they do integrate with EasyTeach. I'm then going to drag and drop my voting slide onto my page. This is my voting tool. Minimise my EasyTeach toolbar. And as you'll see, there is an on-screen voting device within my voting toolbar. And this is really handy if I've A, not got enough clickers to go round, or B, I've not yet invested in clickers, but I still want to use the functionality of polling. So teachers said to us that they actually wanted the functionality to be within EasyTeach because it stands to reason that within this whole class teaching environment that I can create items on the fly and I can change the direction of my lesson, that I should be able to assess students as well because it's only from presenting within an environment like EasyTeach that I can be as dynamic as to change the content based on a polling session within it. So you'll see that there's one vote received. I'm going to click stop voting. So the teacher is in control. There's no times that have to be imposed. I can start and stop as I please. And that information can be graphed very simply at the click of a button. I can view the percentages. If I went to look at the student data, I can go and see which student, because I can assign a handset to a student, has answered which question. And I can really gain a good view into how my class have understood the different breeds of whales. And if I need to, I can go back and review that lesson.